Well, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am the Garden and Worm Lady. <laughs> um, I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool that happens in a worm bin when I feed my chow. And I think it happens because the the quality of the product and it provides extra food for the worms. So let me uh, grab my little table over here so I could slide it on here and bring it closer. All right. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what are we looking at? Okay. <laughs> let me tilt this. So this is one of my European Nightcrawler bins. So let me just show you. Let me uncover it. As you can see, they are like having a ball with the newspaper. They're crawling everywhere. But you see these? Sometimes, oh wow, look at them. Sometimes when I feed um, my chow, it tends to sprout. And it creates these little trees. My daughter would call these trees. You see, look, they sprout. So what I do is... I um look at them. It looks like we're looking at them out in the nature. <laughs> what I do is I pull them up and I just lay them back down. And to me, this creates just extra worm food for them. I just think it's really cool that when you cover this to see it like come up. And it, it's from the, the chow. It's from the straw. So we got extra food. But anyway, I'm going to dig in here and just take a look at them. Um, oh man, they are such gorgeous worms. Look at them. Those are nice fishing worms, guys. Plus, European night crawlers are excellent for composting. They love cardboard. They love, you know, they eat my Amazon boxes like you will not believe. Look at these worms. Huge. They go through cardboard like like no other. See, look at the corner. Look at the corner. The corner dwellers. <laughs> oh, I see a pair connected. You know I got to grab them. Why do I do that? I have no idea. I think just curiosity gets me. But anyway, I'm going to put them over here. And hopefully I didn't disturb. <laughs> Another pair connected. Oh my gosh, look. This is how you can tell that everything is going well in here. If their environment were an environment that they don't like, they would not breed. They would die. They try to run away. I mean, everything could happen. But when you have an ideal worm bed that they love, they're going to stick around. So let's see this corner. I haven't dug in here. You can see it's still very flat. I just want to see. If, yeah, there's so many in here. Look at that. They love the corners. Man. They just love the corners. Any container I have raised them in, whether it be small, uh, a mortar bin this big, or a smaller tub this big, they're always in the corners, no matter what. And I know other people um, experience the same thing. But, you know, I guess that's just their thing. So we're not going to judge them for it. We love you anyway. We love you, we love you, we love you. So if you haven't pressed that subscribe button yet, you want to support my channel, um, press that subscribe button. People have asked me if it costs money to subscribe to YouTube. No, it's free. If you want to sign up for YouTube Premium, I mean, you can pay for that. But no, our videos are just free. You just create an account and press that subscribe button. And watch our videos and give us the thumbs up. Because that way YouTube knows that we're doing a good job um, on our videos and working and, you know, doing what we do here. But they're doing well. So these guys... I obviously lifted up the jungle. I mean, look at that worm. I'm still getting over a cold. I had a cold. Says I've been around some sick people. and oh, They gave it to me. <laughs> I know. 
I hate when people are around me and they're sick and they don't go home and yeah. So they're doing well. They're nice and fat. The bedding, the moisture feels good. Every time I think I see one that's the biggest, then I find another one and I'm like, wow. So do you guys want to see me back the, bring back the um, African night crawlers? They're fun to work with. Very fun to work with and they're big. So it's very like, wow. Let's just give them some chow. So if you're interested in worms or anything else, I have everything on my website. <clears throat> and I just give them a little jingle here. And I'm, I like to give them back their paper. They love wet newspapers. You can see. People ask me, what do I have these worms on? Like, I have this rolly cart. And my husband put a weight here on this side. Because when I fill up my water tank, which is battery charged, battery operated, um, it's very heavy on this side. And one day, oh my gosh, this would have been a disaster. The entire thing almost flipped forward. Yeah. So he put a weight on this side for me so that it balances out and it works perfect. So we're just going to cover them. And... I think I am going to wet this newspaper a little bit. Let me see. i got some water in here that I haven't used. Yeah, to them, like sprinkling water in here, it's almost like it's raining. And what happens when it rains outside and you see worms? Yeah, they all start coming out. Sorry, guys. I'm still coughing. Even though... I'm getting better, but I'm still fighting this cold. I had to go to the doctor and everything. I don't like going to the doctor. I rarely do. If I do, it's because you know that I'm really feeling sick. So let me put this one back on the wall and let's bring out another one. Oh my gosh. My youngest daughter, 22 years old, grew up around worms from day one. She lives on her own. And she has told me, and this is a proud mom moment, that she wants a worm farm in her kitchen. So next week she's coming down. She's going to take one of my worm farms because, of course, I have a million of them. And she asked me if she could pick out worms. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, it's like a mountain of spaghetti. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, if you could see what that feels like in my hand. <gasps> Whew. Gotta love worms. These are European night crawlers. So anyway, she's coming down with her boyfriend. And she is going to pick out worms. And I asked her, what kind do you want? You know, do you want euros? Do you want red wigglers? I'm not sure. I want to just pick them. I think she wants to come and pick them herself and play with them and touch them. Because she's been involved with worms since she was born. The minute she could walk, the first thing she did was run to my worm bin and start messing. And it's just been her whole life. So these guys are going to go in one of these bins, the tubs, and we're going to get them going. And then if you guys want worms, remember, go to my website and you'll find them there. But I'm so happy that... Something I've been teaching for 22 years. You know, my own child wants one. And that, oh, that just brings me so much joy. So much joy. So you can tell these are European night crawlers. Look at how fat they are. And look at their little yellow tails. Most of them will have a yellow tail. I have seen uh, European night crawlers that don't have a yellow tail. But they mostly do. It's probably, I don't know, a genetic thing. So they're going to get sorted. And uh, man, I'm really, really happy with that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that moment with you. I don't know if she'll let me film her picking out the worms. I'll ask her. Um, but I hope she will because it'd be great for you all to see because I know I've talked about um, all four of my kids 
but especially the youngest one. She is the worm, the worm freak, <laughs> just like her mother. <laughs> so <laughs> we got another jungle here, another jungle in the European nightcrawler world. See what I told you about the straw? That's a nice worm right there. They just love straw and they get nice and fat with straw. I don't know why, but I've done this several times before and it just happens. So I'm gonna grab some of these down here. Look at that, that's a pretty picture right there. Let me hold it still here a minute. Maybe YouTube will capture the, the thumbnail. <laughs> All right. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just sprinkling. Give them a good mix. Yeah, they're wonderful. These worms sell out very fast. What's also good about them is that in the winter, they ship really well. Like, I rarely have problems. Let me get some chow. Wormery's holding out well as far as temperature. So let's give them back their paper. So now this bin is done. I mean, if you stay on top of your warmery, um, it's less work, you know, but if you neglect it or something happens, like I got hurt, uh, it takes a little bit to bring it back. So look at these over here. Just gonna pull them up. There we go. And they'll take care of it. Just extra food for them. There we go. All right. This is my other European Nightcrawler tub. Look at them. My gosh, that is a huge worm. They're so big. Little trees are forming. I'm just going to leave them, giving them a fluff. And the reason I'm fluffing is because I know that I really wet these bins down. And it's good to get some oxygen in there. I normally don't fluff breeder bins, but if I feel it needs oxygen, I'm gonna fluff it. So let's just, let's take another look at them. Let's just add some more. So how many of you are new at doing this? I mean, I get messages from a lot of people, but I also get messages from people from like other parts of the world. And to me, that is very exciting. And you don't need all this fancy stuff to have a worm bin. People in other parts of the world don't. You just use what you got. And if that's how you're gonna start, then that's fine. Absolutely fine. So let's give them some chow. go all right another one Here, down i found another pair connected they're just breeding galore yes sometimes when i run out of my own chow i use missouri but i have that on hand in case an emergency you never know if i run out if my machine breaks, motor burns out, my flock here, my herd, my babies, they still need to eat. And if they haven't eaten, I don't want them waiting like a week for something to arrive. So I always have a bag of Missouri on hand just in case. So guys, thank you for watching. Press that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to visit my website, thegardenandwormlady.com. And I'll see you next time. Take care.